after suffering repeated losses in its war with Israel. Hamas threatened on Sunday to kill all remaining hostages if demands such as more aid to Gaza and a prisoner exchange are not met. The Palestinian terror group still holds the bodies of 20 hostages who in captivity. Israel said over the weekend. Abu Obaidah, spokesman for Hamas armed wing, claimed on Sunday that not a single kidnap victim will leave Gaza alive unless Israel accepts all. It's demands in talks that broke down in early December. At least some of these demands were for more aid to Gaza residents and the release of Palestinian prisoners. Neither fascist enemy and its arrogant leadership, nor its supporters, can capture their captives alive without bartering, negotiating and meeting the demands of resistance. Obeda said in a televised broadcast the ultimatum came after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin. Netanyahu's office announced that 20 of 137 hostages believed to be in Hamas custody had. More than 100 people were freed in a relief and prisoner agreement last month. Six family members of the 137 hostages estimated to be still in Gaza demanded their release during a demonstration in Tel Aviv on Saturday. Abir Sultanepefe Hamas has previously accused Israel killing hostages during its sustained airstrike campaign in northern Gaza. These allegations were repeated in the Hamas video of hostage Yardin Bibas, who blamed Netanyahu for the death of his wife and two young sons. Israel described allegations as propaganda and accused the terrorist group of stooping so low as to refused to hand over bodies of its dead. Hamas is allegedly trying to take advantage of the bodies stalled hostage exchange negotiations in the hope of freeing more Palestinians from Israeli prisons and seeing more aid trucks arriving Gaza. 6. Israel believes that at least 20 people taken hostage by Hamas in captivity via terrorists freed more than 100 hostages during a seven-day ceasefire last month. But fighting resumed on December 1 after the two sides failed to agree on an eighth wave of exchanges. The Israel Defense Forces said Sunday that 3,500 Hamas targets have been destroyed in Gaza Strip since end of ceasefire and more than 22,000 targets since war began October 7 with Hamas' deadly sneak attack on Israel. According to the Times of Israel, a senior IDF official claimed that with Israel's recent advances in northern and southern Gaza, there are now signs that Hamas is disintegrating. 6. Israel aimed its artillery towards the south of Gaza. AFP via, the extent of destruction and damage creates command and control problems for Hamas. There are areas in the Gaza Strip that Hamas no longer controls militarily. The official said. But despite Israel's recent victories in Gaza, the official said fighting will intensify as long as Hamas can resist after nearly two months of fighting in northern Gaza, including looting and destruction of multiple headquarters. IDF is now concentrating its armaments around Khan.